To battle. Hi everyone, it's the Wolf from Fortress of Solitude, and today we're back looking at some more awesome toys. Now, this time around, our friends at Solar Pop sent us these awesome snap ships. Now, these ships are made by uh, Play Monster, and basically, what they are, they're a modular system that allows you to build your own ships. Obviously, it, they come with instructions to build a specific ship, but you can interchange these parts and basically build your own spaceship. Now, this is really awesome. Um, for, I mean, for years, LEGO has been the gold standard when it comes to modular toys, but I think that these snap ships really offer something unique that we haven't seen on the market before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give basically show you how to build one of these ships. I'm going to unbox this Locust Claw Stealth Craft. I'm going to put it together, show you how easily these ships can be built. And then I'm going to show you each of the ships that I've already built, show you some of their special features. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a, a, some final thoughts on what I thought of these awesome new toys. I mean, who wouldn't want to build their own starship? So without further ado, let me get to start building this uh, fighter and then I'll show you some of the other ships. Snapships, build to battle. Right, so here we have the Snapships Locust Claw Stealthcraft. Now, uh, the actually, this is actually a complex uh, faction ship. Now, as you can tell by all the spikes, this is the bad guys of the Snapships series of toys. Now, basically, what I love about these toys is that not only does the box serve as obviously a box for all the pieces to be put into, but it's got all these little indications of the specific ship's abilities, its speed, its weapons, its armor, its maneuverability. It's got a little flavor text there that always helps, especially when kids want to get more involved in and immersed in the universe that, that, uh, that you know these toy manufacturers are creating. You also have a schematic of basically what you are getting. So there's no no mystery around what you what you'll be getting. This is what you'll be getting. This is how the ship will look. There is a specialized UJU tech piece um, that is a mystery. That when you open it, you're not sure which one of these mystery weapons you'll get. But otherwise, what you see in the box is what you get. The games also um, Snapships also have an app which allows you to play a game. Um, it shows you how to build specific ships. It's a really nice app, works really well, really user friendly. Um, and then yeah, that's it. Now as a bonus feature, you'll notice there's a little hole on top. And this little hole is where you put in a stand so that you can actually use this as a stand for your, for your finished ship. Now, if you open the top, you pull out, everything is neatly packaged in there. So you've got a little container holding all the parts in little bags, similar as to what you get with something with Lego. Some of the largest, largest sets, the bags are numbered A, B, C, D, E. And then you've got a little snap ships booklet and then the instruction manual. Now you'll notice that the instruction manual again has some really nice flavor text. And then it actually looks a lot like you would expect the a modular systems booklet to look it's, it's kind of the standard we've come become used to over the years but it's really handy it, it literally shows you really easily how to put it together it's very clear um, and then you have your little bag here which will open because we're going to start building the ship and there you have all your little parts in now like I mentioned you'll notice that most of the blocks will be these little modular um, square blocks and, um, and it's basically as easy as, you know, popping a peg into a hole. And it's in there, and you get a handy tool to help you loosen it if you need to. So you've got one of these little tools to pry loose any blocks that you need to. Then you've got your little missiles, because each uh, ship has a special feature. This one shoots out little plastic missiles. You have in here, which is really nicely packaged, you have your little soldier. Now this is this is one of the awesome features of these ships is that you actually get these really tiny little little um, uh, figures uh, of, of each you know faction uh, with your ship and they actually can fit into a cockpit so what works really really well is that you can actually they're, they're quite articulate well obviously the arms can't move but 
their, their midriffs can actually twist and turn and they actually fit into the cockpit. Now, as you can expect, there's not, there's a surprising amount of detail on these for, I mean, for, for what you, oops, let's just get the zoom ready. There we go. Um, the focus, uh, here we go, we're in focus now. So you'll see there's actually a lot of attention to detail on these figures, at, well, as much as you can get on something this small. Now, some of the sets come with more figures than others. Um, and then, finally, this little compartment has your special, unique weapon. So in this case, it's some sort of strange crystal, crystalline cannon. Um, and these do vary. It all depends on, on kind of um, what it's the luck of the draw. So it, it's a surprise each time you buy a ship. And that basically is what you get inside a box of snap ships. It's going to depend on how big the model is, how many bags you get. So let me get uh, on with building this one um, and I'll show you how quick and easy it actually is. Okay, so this is actually the ship we just finished building. Now this is the Locust Claw Stealth Craft from the Complex Faction, basically the bad guys. Now um, you'll notice that, again, it was quite easy putting it together. Now this features some movable parts like these little flaps here. Um, obviously you've got the little cockpit that can open uh, and inside is the actual Claws or Locust Soldier, Complex Soldier. And then um, basically, yeah, so as you saw, it's literally just easy as clicking in a peg into a hole and you end up with a really gorgeous looking ship like this. Now, you'll notice um, with a lot of the actual complex ships that they are surprisingly aerodynamically shaped when, when, when you consider that they're made out of little cubes that you, that you stick together. So I was really surprised with how great this modular system actually worked in that respect. Then um, most of these smaller ships all have this one feature and that is the missiles that fire. So you'll notice that there's these little um, red little missiles here and once you press these little levers down, they actually fire out and they do fire <laughs> quite a distance so just keep that in mind um, I don't uh, but otherwise yeah I mean this is really really surprisingly easy and you end up with a really great looking product so this is the Locust Claw Stealth Craft now next up we're taking a look at some of the good guys now this is the Lance Scout Ship now um, obviously this is the Forge faction these are the good guys. Now this again, this is a really simple looking ship, one that was easily put together. Um, you've got the little cockpit again with your little soldier in there. And then this one also has the missiles, but one thing that you should take note of is that you can actually decide to, to remove parts of the, of the ship to, to slot in the missile launcher. You don't have to have it on there permanently. So a lot of the ships that I'm gonna be showing you actually don't have the, the missiles on there. Um, and then it's also got this feature where you can rotate it. So you can have it like this, which looks really awesome. And then sort of like an X-wing, these little wings here. And yeah, that's, that is the Lance SV-51 Scout. Really nice small little ship. Uh, looks like it would be really nimble in battle. Now moving on to the bigger ships. This is the Falks. Falks? SC-41 Escort, Falks SC-41 Escort, that's quite a mouthful now. This is a really great looking ship. So again, this is the Forge Faction, the good guys. Got your little cockpit there with your guy in there. Again, it's also got the, uh, the option to uh, 
you know, click in um, some of those missile launches. But this is a really, really awesome looking ship. Now, its features, obviously, as you can guess, is the ability to swivel its wings. So you could have it in a kind of cruising mode. And then when it needs to be in attack mode, you can lift these wings up a bit. And overall this, I mean, this is a really, really good looking ship. You can see all the little details on there, the little thrusters, it's got this highlighted blue areas. Um, you've got your missiles at the bottom. And what I really do like about these snap ships as well is that you'll notice that there are two open holes. Now these are for the stands that I'm currently um, it's displaying them on, but areas where you don't have um, anything slotting into, you get these little panels that you can slot into. So it actually closes up those holes. It's, it's such a great little attention to detail that one wouldn't have noticed if, if it wasn't there, but it just helps, you know, round the ships off nicely, make them look really, really cool. But you can see that this ship is, you know, this ship is like, it, it's armed to the brim. It's got missiles and it's got lasers. So I wouldn't want to meet this guy out in space. So there you go. So now we're moving on to the spiky ships again. Now this is the complex, one of the complex ships. Now this is the... Man, I need to, to remember these names, but this is the Wasp Claw Heavy Fighter. Now, obviously, as you can as you can tell by all the spikes and blades, this is definitely a heavy fighter. With most of these complex ships, you are able to actually swivel these spikes, so you could actually turn them to the front, whatever you think looks really nice and intimidating. Again, you've got a little cannon at the back. The, um, let's see if you can see it. There you go. It's a little cannon that can swivel up and down. Um, it also again comes with, 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 with missiles that you can fire or that you can slot onto. Um, these wings, uh, you'll see that the bottom ones can actually swivel up and down. And the top ones, uh, they swivel inwards. So you can end up with something when, let's say, when, it, when, it, when it's actually landing, it's got these little, it can stand on the bottom blades or when it's in battle mode, you can just similar to an X-Wing kind of uh, change the blades up like that. Again, it's got some nice cannons. Obviously the cockpit, eh, you have your little soldier in there. Again, a really intimidating looking ship. One that was actually, again, quite surprisingly easy to put, to put together. Now keep in mind, with all of these ships, you can interchange these parts. So you can build a complex slash forge, forge hybrid ship, um, you know, and, and that could, when you, you know, role play these games, you know, kid plays with these toys, they can say that it was built from parts of destroyed ships. So there's so much you can, you can kind of do narrative wise. Um, and like I said, the, the play, uh, play monster has actually gone into a lot of detail um, trying to, to establish a kind of universe for these snapships. Um, so yeah, this is then basically the claw heavy fighter. Okay, so next up is one of my favorite ships. It's one of the largest ships that in the, the snapship series. Um, this is the claw troop transport dropper. Basically, again, another complex ship. But this thing's, I mean, this thing's decked out with spikes and cannons and missiles. I mean, I wouldn't want to meet this thing out in space. It's even got these little retractable mantis blades that could, I mean, potentially slash, slash a ship in two. That was quite difficult to say. And yeah, I mean, this thing looks really, really intimidating. Now, again, with, with, with snap ships, it's all about, you know, they the play monsters are doing so much to try and build a narrative around these factions, these ships. And every little detail they've got on these ships, I mean, that just adds to that narrative. But they're also allowing kids to kind of build their own ships, build on that narrative. So for in, what I love about these ships is the attention to detail, things that you wouldn't necessarily need to add, but they have added. So for instance, this is the troop drop pods. Now, I mean, just having it like that looks already looks really nice, but you've got the function now that if you press this, it actually drops the pod and they drop one by one. Now that's great in itself, but even better, and again, it's all about attention to detail with, with these snap ships and building on the narrative that uh, Play Monster is, is, has done so much uh, to, to actually build up um, for this brand. So you'll notice that if you open up this little pod, it's got a little trooper inside. Again, attention to detail. That's what I love of, of, you know, about this series, is it wasn't necessary to put in a little troop there, but now you've got a little troop, so these pods can drop, and it just adds to the playability of these sets. So this, you know, claw troop dropper is one of my favorite ships. 
not just because it looks intimidating, because but because of that, you know, added extra attention to detail with these drop pods with the little troops in. Again, you'll notice those notches for for adding in the stand. And again, yeah, this is just a really great looking ship. Probably one of my favorites. And lastly, the biggest one in the collection I currently have, and I, I was given to take a look at, this is the Gladius A7, AC75 dropship. So the Gladius AC75 dropship. Again, good, these, these are the good guys. It's the Forge faction. You'll notice that as with most of the Forge faction ships, they are all um, bulky, um, kind of blocky, uh, which really suits in, you know, the whole uh, kind of earth kind of look. It, it, it just works well that, that the good guy ships are more blocky and that the enemy ships are actually more spiky, more intimidating, really like that. You can tell from, it, from just their silhouette which one is which. Now, this ship, again, huge cannons. Um, it's got all these little fins. Um, you've got the missile launchers in the front. Now this, although there is a lot of module, modular pieces on this ship, it did come with the central base, the one that you'll see here, which is one solid piece. So again, you can snap on anything from any of the other sets on there as it's, it's got the same um, peg holes, um, but this is one solid piece. Uh, and then other, all the other ones are the connecting pieces. Again, you'll notice the nice blue kind of highlight for the blasters. These cannons actually have some gold, gold details on there. And of all the ships, I think this one's really the one that's the nice, that's painted the best from all the ships that I had a chance to take a look at it because of these gold accents that it's got. But I mean, this is a really, a really great looking ship. Now, an, an awesome feature of this ship, again, as with the troop dropper, this one actually has these little fins that you can lift on the sides and then, if you press this button, it drops a little rover. Now this rover again, modular, as with all the toys, it's got a little cannon there in front, a little laser blaster. Again, a cockpit with a little figure in. Uh, I forgot to show the figure in this one. Uh, this cockpit is, isn't as nice as some of the others, but I mean, there's the little figure. But I mean, having this little rover in there and it actually dropping, again, attention to detail. Um, I wasn't expecting this when I got these toys. I was expecting a modular system that you just stick together, um, it'll be bulky, um, there wouldn't be a lot of attention to detail, but I mean, if you, like I said, being able to drop out this little ship, it's got a soldier in there, and you can add to it. So I mean, again, you can add any parts on there that, that would fit on that peg, or you can remove this at the back quite easily, you could pop in something there. Really, really great, and, and I have to say, I still love the troop dropper, but this, this is, 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 is probably my second favorite of the ones I got to, to look at, not just because it's so large, but also because of the great little pop-out rover that it has. So that is the Gladius AC75 dropship from the Forge faction. Snapships, build to battle. So what did I think of Snapships by Play Monster? Um, well, to be honest, <laughs> I was really surprised when I got these ships. So when I heard about them and I heard it would be a modular system, I was expecting something that would kind of try and mimic Lego or something that would be a kind of quick cash grab, uh, you know, for, for the, you know, because everyone is doing modular systems and that this would be a cash grab kind of to try and, and, and you know, cash into that. But when I got these ships, I was really surprised. Firstly, with how these little tiny blocks could actually form these aerodynamically unique looking ships. Uh, it's, it's just not only great to build them, and yes, some of the pegs do, do struggle to go in there, but it's, it's to make sure that it actually stays in one piece when you play with it. I did find that some of those did become loose over time, but it never became loose to a point where they would fall out. I mean, it's expected of a modular system, but overall, I was so surprised by how quick and easy it was to build these ships, how interchangeable these parts are. I mean, you can mix up the forged ships with the um, with the actual uh, the the complex ships and have a, a, a kind of amalgamation between a, a bad guy and good guy ship. Uh, it's just really great building these ships, and it's fun, and it's quick. Um, sometimes with, with, modular, with modular toys, uh, it can, there can be a lot of attention on actually building it, 
but when you get to the, 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 the you know the chance to actually play with it you're already tired because you spend so much time building it and in some cases that is great but in the case of these snap ships it's quick it's easy it's fun and you can start playing really quickly now um, I really like the variety of these ships as well I like the universe that play monster is building with these ships Again, I wasn't expecting a kind of whole narrative behind this battle between the complex and the forge factions and expecting kind of every little box to have all these details of each ship and their power levels. It's just so much attention to detail in, built into this universe. And I mean, it's something that, that, that could expand even more um, into other toys as well. Uh, it's a really, really, really awesome sci-fi uh, modular system, really great, great uh, toys. Um, another great feature is the actual app that you get. It's got, uh, you know, augmented reality as most of these apps have, where you can, you know, have you see your ship in, in, in your surroundings. Uh, there is some games that you can play. You, it shows you how to build ships. The app in itself is also, again, it's, it's, it's a whole kind of uh, new addition to this, to this universe. And it's something that helps build on the Snapships brand. And it works really well. Again, apps tend to be quick cash-ins, but this one really works and it, and it makes sense in, in kind of the brand that, that, that is being established around these snapships. So I really enjoyed playing with the snap, snapships. Um, my daughters played with them. They, they were able to, I've got, a, I've got a six and a 10 year old, and they were able to quickly build these ships. And I mean, it, it took, took a, f a few minutes for them to figure out that they could actually interchange these parts. I didn't tell them about it, but they figured it out. Uh, I was trying to see how intuitive it was. And they were able to quickly build their own little ships. And it was great to see their imaginations kind of expanding. And I'm gonna be honest, as an adult, um, I'm going to start collecting some of these ships. It's really for, for, for kids of all ages. Uh, it's, it's for people who love sci-fi. It's for kids who love sci-fi kind of toys. Um, these really take me back to a time when I was younger. I would have loved to have toys with these kind of details on them, with the little figures. Um, it's really, really, really a great system. And um, I can see this growing you know, beyond just what, what kind of, you know, the ships they already have, I can see this becoming a bigger brand. So if you're really looking for kind of a, a, a if you're a sci-fi fan, um, then this is a, is, is, is a toy range you should have a look at. If you like modular systems, so you like building and, and using your imagination to expand on ships, you build your own stuff, then this is, a, you know, toys that you should look at. Um, if you just like uh, toys that have a universe behind them, that's got, a, you know, a, that there is is law behind it then this is is a toy system or toys that you should look at so as you can tell <laughs> i really enjoyed uh just looking at these toy toys having you know great time putting them together playing with them with my kids as well um and uh if you want to find out more about what i thought of each you know of these ships uh, you can go and read uh, my written review on fortress of solitude um and i'd like to take the opportunity to just thank solo uh, prop uh, solo pop for you know, giving us the opportunity to look at these toys, uh, give us the opportunity to, to kind of play with them um, and, 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 and build an opinion about them. And I'm really glad they, were, they, they sent them because um, we at Fortress really love these, these toys. Um, and I see myself building a collection of them. <laughs>